Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to remove and replace the front and rear wheel on my 2016 R1200RT to get some new tires put on. So I uh, just want to let you know that these videos are sponsored by Pacific Motorcycle Tours. So come visit us at PacMoto Tours and sign up for one of our fabulous motorcycle tours. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. So uh, click su subscribe and if you like the videos also, give us a like and uh, keep enjoying watching these videos. All right, so you can see I bought some new, these are Michelin uh, Road Pilot 4 GTs that I'm gonna put on this 2016 R1200RT. So again, today's video is gonna be removing the front wheel, removing the rear wheel. I'm gonna take them to my local shop, have them put the, take off the tires, put on new tires, and then we're gonna put the wheels um, back on the motorcycle. It's an easy job, saves a bunch of money. I bought the tires from my favorite uh, retailer and had them shipped to me and uh, saves a bunch of money just to do it this way. So anyways, let's, uh, let's go get started. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is secure the motorcycle front and rear. So I have some uh, uh, car jacks. I'm gonna put one here in the front, on the front of the motor, and one here on the rear, just to keep the bike uh, stable when I take off both wheels. I'm gonna start by removing the two 13 millimeter bolts to remove the brake caliper. So um, we're just gonna take off the bolts <clears throat> and then uh, pull the caliper out. I think one of the tricks to, uh, to do this successfully is that once you pull it off the sleeve, give it a twist in both directions to force those calipers back a little bit. And that makes it way easier to get the brake calipers back on when you put the wheel back on. All right, we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side now. We'll do the same thing now on the left side. And remember when we pull this caliper off the uh, the little sleeve here, then we're gonna give it a twist just to open up the calipers a bit. Makes it a lot easier to put the, uh, the brakes back on. And give it a twist in both directions. There we go, nice and loose. Okay. To remove the, uh, the center bolt here, it is a 17 millimeters so let's get to that before the axle will slide out we have to remove these uh, stop bolts on both sides so this is a T45 Torx I said remove, we don't actually have to remove them, we just have to loosen them. Both sides. All right, once you've removed the brake caliper and loosened these, uh, these stop screws, just a little tap with a hammer and we will get the, uh, the axle pulled off. the axle just slides right out. We're gonna remove the muffler to get to the rear wheel. I don't know if you have to remove the muffler, but certainly for making a video, it's easier to see everything. So uh, that's a T40 Torx. These screws right here are T25. So let's get to uh, Okay. T40 right here. Just 
Oh. And then finally I'll, I'll loosen this so I can slide the muffler off. All right, and 13 millimeters for right here. I should really have a 13 millimeter deep socket. I don't. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. There we go, muffler off. Make sure the bike is in first gear so you can loosen up the lug nuts. It's T45. Um, and I'm going to use my torque wrench to give me a little leverage here. Last lug nuts out and the rear wheel just rolls away. Gives you a pretty good shot of where I put the jack, okay? So that will hold the rear up um, and I'm gonna go take off the front tire. Now that I have a little bit of room in the back to lift up the front of the bike against the jack in the back, just roll the tire out back on the jack and there we go just wanted to show you the wear on the tire so this front this is a Dunlop Road Smart 3 has about 12,000 miles on it uh, I swapped out the rear because we were going to the Great Falls Montana MOA rally this one probably has about 4,000 miles so it still has some mileage on it um, but I have a 4,000 mile trip coming up and need some new rubber. It's a little hot outside today. It's about 100 degrees here in Oregon. So uh, apologize for sweating on the videos here. Um, anyways, we are halfway through. We've got the front and we rear wheel off. Got my new tires. I'm going to load all this up in the truck and we will take it off to my local shop tomorrow morning and uh, come back and install these uh, whenever the tires are ready. So, all right, halfway through. Thanks, guys. Okay, folks, we have our new rubber installed on the wheels, so let's get started. We're gonna put the front tire on first, and then we're gonna put on the back, so let's go get to it. Whenever you have new tires put on, I always recommend that you Verify that the tires were installed in the proper direction. I have seen them installed in the wrong direction. So the easiest way to do that is here on your wheel. You can see right here we have the arrow pointing, uh, pointing down in this case. Uh, and up here on the tire, uh, we have an arrow indicating uh, the direction of rotation. So the back tire is installed correct. We'll go check the front tire. Okay, here on the front tire, you can also see the arrow is right here, indicating a clockwise direction. And here on the tire is the arrow. So in fact, uh, both tires are installed in the proper uh, direction of rotation. Before we go to install the front tire, I'm going to remove the fender. It's going to make it a lot easier to roll the tire uh, into place. <clears throat> uh, I will uh, remove the T25 screw here. As you can see, I have these skein lights, so I have something special here. You'll have just a T25 screw and a T25 screw here on both sides. And let me show you how this fender uh, connects underneath. Um, underneath. Okay, here you are underneath the uh, front fender you can see where the flashlight is shining uh, there's a little clip that slides in and clips so once we remove those screws that i just pointed out we're going to slide the fender off uh, i'll show you how to do that and then we'll slide it back on when we're all done all right as i mentioned earlier we're going to remove the t25 screw from here 
and uh, I've got this um, hex bolt because I have these skein lights installed. You'll have a T25 screw here as well. So let me get this one off. simply going to unclip it from both sides. Okay. That's going to give us room to get the, uh, the front tire in. So the front tire is simply going to roll into place. Okay, before you install the axle, we have this, uh, this sleeve. It goes on right here and it rolls into place. And then we're going to slide the axle all the way through. All right, BMW calls for a little bit of grease on the axle before we put it back. So this is uh, what they recommend, the Castrol Molob Alloy Paste TA. I'm going to put that here on the axle in a uh, small amount. Okay. See, I've got that all lubed up there. Now we're going to get this started. All right, so in order to slide this through, you can see the bike needs to be just lifted just a hair to get this started. We'll get this balanced just right. Okay, there we go. That is seated. Let's install the axle screw. This is a 17 millimeter screw so it gets tightened to 50 newton meters there we go there's 50 all right these stop screws are uh, T45. And they get tightened to 19 Newton meters. There we go. 19. Let's do the same on the other side. All right, you can see the calipers. So remember we wiggled them a little bit so we could make some room to make it easier to get these back on uh, the motorcycle. So let's, uh, let's attach these. Okay, there we go. These bolts are 13 millimeters. We'll torque these at 38. All right, 38 Newton meters torqued in. The only difference on this side is we're gonna make sure we get the uh, sensor clip in there as well. Okay, 
38 newton meters. Time to put our front fender back on. So remember these clips on both sides slide right into uh, to that spot. So let's put this in. Okay, there's that side. Let me check the other side. Fender's all seated. Let's tighten everything back into place. I've got my T25 screw. Okay, let's get this uh, rear wheel mounted. I've got this uh, little box here I'm gonna use to help elevate the wheel just a bit so it'll fit on here nice and snug. Okay, before we get started, let's make sure we're in gear. Uh, it gets torqued to 60 Newton meters. So, let's slide this muffler on and tighten everything down and we'll be done. Okay. We'll use a T40 Torx to put this guy back on. 13 millimeters to tighten this bracket. Final step for our whole project is to reinstall um, our cover here. All right, there you go. Another successful project. We removed the rear and front wheels. Uh, I took them in and got uh, new rubber put on them. My local shop charges just $35 a wheel to uh, put uh, new tires, uh, to, to balance and put new tires on. So that's all done. We mounted the new tires, uh, new wheels back on the motorcycle and we are ready for some riding. All right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please remember these videos are sponsored by Pacific Motorcycle Tours. So come check us out at packmototours.com. Of course, uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, give us a thumbs up if you uh, like the video as well. All right, thank you. Safe riding and see you next time.